हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑन गुरु जी की गंसोला इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दीस दीस कमांड्स ओके फर्स्ट वन वाज क्रिएटिंग डेटाबेस सेकंड वन वाज यूजिंग डेटाबेस थर्ड वन वाज क्रिएटिंग टेबल फोर्थ वन वाज शोइंग द टेबल फिफ्थ वन वाज क्रिएटिंग अनदर टेबल देन वी हैव सीन अनदर टेबल then we have inserted value in two different tables with different parameters these parameters are nothing but column names if column name is integer then we give integer value if it is where car then we give value in single quotes okay then we have seen uh, how to alter the table uh, adding the column deleting the column okay then deleting any row from database then dropping the table okay now i am uh, i i dropped a table in uh, previous uh example so i am creating this table again okay now i am showing this table okay uh in setting some values in it okay uh okay now we have seen uh, delete part drop part going going forward we are not now going to see how to select uh, not all things from table how to select uh, few things from the table okay so that uh, it will be easier for you guys to do things okay so select uh let's see the table first Okay, so in case you want to select only course name, so select course name from uh, your table name. Uh, select something from your table name. Okay, so table name is Guruji. Okay, so select course name from Guruji. Okay, this course name and this course name should match. Course name. Okay, from Guruji. Now you have to. If you want to write any condition, then you can write where course ID ID okay equal to three. So this is the command, and you got the course name here. So uh, previously you have this table. then you want to fetch only column name this thing then you write select column name from table where course id is 3 so it will give you this or you can write where uh, student name is uh, mohan okay so mohan is a uh, where can type so you have to write this and this Okay, then you will get database. So either you can fire this query or you can fire this query. Course ID three, then course name database, or student name one, then course name database. So this is the for selecting some things. And uh, if you want to, uh, let's insert some value here. So okay, if you want to update some value. Like uh, the course ID, you want to update course ID here. Okay, so you have to write update table name table name is Guruji. Okay, set set. Okay, set. Uh. Course name equal to big data. Okay, where course ID equal to three. Okay, let's see one row got affected. Okay, if you are seeing this the table now the course ID four three is big data now. 
So this command is for updating your uh, any uh, column value. Okay. So for updating column value, you will follow this command. Now the next thing is uh, you you have seen update, delete, adding column, deleting column, dropping table, creating database, selecting column, creating table, everything. Now I think uh, we have to move on aggregate function. So aggregate functions. Uh, okay. So if you want to, if you want to uh, take average of anything or counting the rows, so aggregate functions are basically five type of functions. I'm just writing this. There are five aggregate functions. First one is average. Okay. Second one is uh, count. Okay. The third one is max. Fourth one is min. Okay. And fifth one is uh, count star. Okay, fine. So, if you want to go through these uh, syntaxes and all, so I am just uh, writing the quotes here. Okay, so these are uh, commands where you can uh, see the average and everything. So, if I am writing select count and in count star. Wherever there is a star, either select a star or count a star, it will fetch all the details from the table. Okay. So select count a star from Guruji. Okay. If you are executing only this command, then this will run and it will show the uh, count value. Two, two columns here. Okay. But if you are writing Select count star from A where quotes name equal to big data. Okay. So now it will fetch the all the columns where the quotes name is big data. So only one quotes is there which have uh, big data as you can see big data here only one row. But uh, if you insert some more value in it like this. Okay insert again like this okay now the table has uh, three values with database now if you write here database then count star will give you value three okay fine this is aggregate now if you are selecting anything average okay Select average from So if you are executing only this command, this will show some. Uh, it is telling that it requires at least one argument. So for argument, we are post name equal to data is. are executing it is telling some argument select average four side okay okay so the uh, average of four side is four why where database value is three why why because uh, if you are executing this command there are three columns three uh, rows where course ID is 444, so average is 4. Now, if I am writing a course ID with database and giving the value as 5, what will be the average? 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5. That is 17 by 4 because 4 rows in database. So it will have a 4 point something. So for 4 point something, okay it is showing 4 because it is taking only integer part it returns integer part okay 
but uh, if you are uh, 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 if you insert 8 here pressing 4 4 4 8 ok and see this the result it is 5 where we got 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12 and plus 8 is 20 divided by 4 because 4 uh, rows from database so it is yeah but uh, if you are for checking whether it is taking the uh, float value or not we are inserting a uh, column with 5 taking the result ok it one, two, three, five rows with uh, Fourth ID, four plus four plus four plus eight plus five, twenty-five by five. Now it is showing; it will show uh, whole integer. So we are taking some value so that it will not show integer value. So we are just uh, adding some value here. Okay. Now it will be thirty-one by uh, six. Okay. Now I am taking integer. Whether it is uh, giving value in integer or float so it is always it always gives value in integer ok so 5 point something is 5 it will not take field value yet because uh, or float value it will only take the integer part because if now so far it is 31 by 6 if I am add, uh, adding one more row it will be uh, like uh, if I am adding 9 then it will be 40 by 7 and it will be like 5.7 something but it will show 5 yes it only takes the integer part average function only takes the integer part see ok and uh, rows are for your these are the rows ok now the next function is minimum ok select minimum ok minimum of course id from guruji ok where course name equal to database Now it will return the minimum course ID that is I think 4. 4. Ok. Select maximum course ID from I'm copy pasting this value. Ok. This one will return 9 because the highest course value of database was 9 ok so these are basically 4 aggregate functions and I have shown you the you know the uh, syntax ok select count of course id you can give arguments in bounds also from where course name equal to single quote database ok so 7 ok there are 7 rows where course name is database as you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, guys. So, in this video, we have seen aggregate function. In our next video, we will see uh, nested query, some uh, operators, more operators. Okay, there we have seen aggregate functions. Now, in next video, we will see uh, nested query. Thank you.